What's going on? Move the Mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Portsmouth. Let's play Season 7, Episode number 31. And uh, I started to do a little bit of detail work offline, and then I realized people probably like to see this kind of stuff, because it was, it was some very small changes, but I want to talk about one that was really important. So right here, coming off the Industry Island, I had one segment of two-lane road right here. So all this traffic, these three lanes were kind of coming down to one lane and then getting a chance to upgrade this two-lane road that is the bridge. And what I did was I upgraded this very last segment coming off the bridge to four-lane road. And then I went into Traffic Manager, kind of made a mess here. Uh, but basically what's happening is this lane coming from the bottom of the screen can go to the left lane, left or right. This lane coming from the left side of the screen can go straight left or right, but they're going to take the lane closest to them. And this right lane, straight left or right, but they're going to take the lane closest to them because that's where the second most traffic was coming from. So it splits where all this traffic from the bottom of the screen is coming and where the traffic on the right side, which is the bulk of it. And it, it means that they can kind of all mash in together into that same intersection at the same time. It beats having a traffic light there, and it definitely is helping a lot because this was backed up behind this intersection, kind of onto this street. So it has improved it a little bit, but but only so much. This is a lot of traffic that's going to be pouring off into here. And as you can see, it's starting to back up coming into the town. So we may look at something a little bit different. We may bury a highway under here, a highway exit, so that this isn't tying up the main road itself coming into the city because right now uh, this is going to be Kittery, and we're going to have stuff over here, and, and the trucks are going to prevent us from supporting that well. So that's something that we'll want to work on. I also trimmed this back just a little bit. This island, or I should say this peninsula, came all the way out here. Now there's a little separate island, and it... I was able to kind of curve this uh, key wall around. At some point, I'm going to change the height and kind of fix all that. Make it look a little bit more uniform, a little less prone to flooding, because some spots are lower than others in terms of the water line. But we will get there. Um, these both upgraded to level 5. I saw some comments suggesting parking lot instead of parking garage, and, and I think it's a better fit. Definitely. So I dropped that in there, but yeah, the level 5 zoo, level 5 uh, amusement park, so those are doing well for the city. Our university, whoa, our university is level 5 as well, and I don't think I can fund any more uh, academic works. Let's get out of move it, or uh, traffic manager that I was in, <laughs> wasn't letting me click on stuff. Um, yeah, academic works. Everything has already been researched. We have researched everything. So we can't throw any more money at the uh, academic work creation. Oh, speaking of. Toga parties. Two sports trophies. Not bad for, what, three arenas that we have? We still haven't dropped in the last two. We have football, baseball, and basketball. Oh, aquatics. Do we not have basketball? I'm pretty sure I meant to drop in basketball and dropped in aquatics. So we can drop in basketball and track and field if we wanted to. I definitely meant to do basketball. That's weird. I, I must have missed something there. Um, levels wise, we've got residential demand climbing way up. I started moving some people in. Let me get oriented over here. Started filling this in. They don't seem to like to move into my spaced out zoning. And as soon as I connect it then they start moving in so we'll move some more people up here for now um, I don't think we've extended metro coverage up this way and we definitely should we gotta get them hooked into the uh, hooked into the system somehow maybe we'll use the airport as our next hub for connecting north and south parts of the city that could be a possibility but there's not enough people yet over here to be causing any problems. They just don't have an easy way to get to places like the university or maybe one of those industrial areas if they wanted to work there. That, and we need to hook this this metro in at some point. Um, but I kind of wanted to do one... Keeps lagging on me. Oh my god. That's got to stop. I, I should have stopped with the fall trees. Notice that uh, I did do 
some fall tree decoration out on the edge of the map. I'm trying to make them spaced out quite a bit over here. You notice that it's not as dense and thick as some of the other parts that I've decorated. It's more, again, just for, for background color. And I have the animation distance way down, so this will look better when I finally do the ending cinematics. But it kind of give you a sense for, you know, what those trees are going to look like out in the distance. I think it's pretty good. But as you can see, yeah, a lot less dense than what we're doing kind of when we'll be flying around closer to the suburbs. Some of the stuff we'll be looking at that is much more densely populated with trees. Oof, we got to work on that, huh? It's all right here. Can we just priority this traffic? Hang on a second. Because there's so little traffic coming from the other direction. Let's at least give them priority coming down here. We could even two lane this so that two lanes becomes two lanes going into the four. But we need that to get flowing. That's pretty bad. So one thing that I wanted to do today is I wanted to bring. Yeah, we're going to have to do highway here. It's too much traffic. It's fine for this. It's not so great once we start spinning neighborhoods up off of there. In any event, one quick project that I wanted to do was get this rail out of here. And here's what I was thinking. Let's pause. Let's delete this. And let's even key it up. We'll key it up before we do this. Because uh, I want to kind of tuck the... Where is it? I want to tuck the um, train. <laughs> wow, took me a while to find that word. Um, I want to tuck the train kind of here on this coastline and, and bury it in the ground before it comes back up on the other side. So that should be good enough for now. I don't know how much room that's actually going to give us to do this. We might have to break some buildings, but that is okay. Let's come back over here. That is Metro. Let's do trains. Uh, what, am, what is it doing here? No, I don't want to. I don't want to slope up. I mean, I don't want to slope down. That's for sure. Down's in the water and, and up is up. Is that my elevation step? We'll fix that after. So let's uh, freeform. Come out straight before we curve in. I want to get just kind of the right angle here. And it's going to make me come up. That's okay. We can fix this after. And then we'll go into the ground right here. Or not. <laughs> we definitely went down, just not into the ground. Let's try that again, and then we'll we'll clean everything up with move it and kind of. Um, and it's I know it's totally cheating. If you're if you're following along or trying to get inspired on console, I mean you just you just have to mess around with this stuff a little bit more. Um, here I can place things a little bit more imprecisely. Okay, is it actually going into the ground now? That is the question. There we go. Okay, that actually created a tunnel this time. So... Can we delete this? Can we get just regular non-bridge here? So this forces bridge, that forces tunnel, 
Follow the elevation of the road. There's no way to to not do that, huh? Unless we curve it and uh, curve it on purpose and then link it back up. Like that. Whatever. All right, so, man, okay. A little sloppy, and I left, it looks like I left the pillar behind here. We'll do that for now. Can we just delete this pillar? That would be awesome. Okay, there we go. That works. That's fine. All right, so let's get overhead. Let's, let's straighten it out first. If we do that. That's not too bad. Now we can work on the height of it, which is which is pretty bad. So Let's see what if we did this? What if we brought everything Let's see what kind of height we have here. So that could work. If we wanted to to be picky about it, we could put this this truss up above the ground. So we could do everything to that height. So let's highlight all the nodes on either side of that. And I'm doing this by shift clicking with move it. And then let's this one align height. And then we will align it to this one node we did not select. So that way it's one consistent height. Slopes up a little bit from the station. And then it comes over here, gets over the key wall, and then it goes into the ground. And then we basically can hook this back up on the other side of the highway, and it's going to achieve the exact same thing without getting in our way. And that's what I was thinking. It should only remove rail once we start clicking on it. And then we'll want to do the same thing for... Um, here, we'll bring it over the highway. We'll drop it like, into the ground over here for now. Because we've already got rail. We've got train coming in. So let's do this. Okay, and that tunnels it. And now we just got to get this all connected. So I'm going to kind of follow the road with this. We're going to have to work with that subway, though. So that could be interesting. Hmm. So that should be okay. I don't think that'll cause any issues. I did anarchy that just to make it a little quicker. Let's see where that train's going. It's coming in or going out. It's going out, of course. Heading out to export some goods off the map. 
What? Why is it spawning pedestrians on the edge of the map? I've never seen this before. And the train just kind of... There's trucks over there? What's up with that? This is not safe, people. Don't... Don't do this, okay? Don't walk on the highway and spawn your cars out of nowhere. It's, it's really... Really not the best idea. I've never noticed this. This is pretty cool. You don't get to see this on console because you can't go all the way to the edge of the map. All right, so that train must have arrived by now. No? It's got to be in the tunnel, you would think. There it comes. Okay, there we go. Now, this doesn't connect anywhere else. I was thinking about maybe doing another shipyard over here somewhere that can access the shipping lane. Uh, so we could do another another stop over there. We could do one on this island. Wouldn't really make sense down here because this is our um, nature reserve. But it looks like we could even do one all the way down this way if we wanted. And then we've got shipping lanes over on the other side of the airport where we could do something kind of along this harbor because it has line of sight to the... Uh, to that shipping lane that's coming in from the side of the map. Which, uh, for those of you that know the area, this is this is inland New Hampshire. This is not actually an, an ocean waterway here. In theory, they could come in through out here, but I wasn't going to build a shipping lane all the way through those rivers. That would just be crazy. Uh, when you can basically achieve the same thing over here, because as far as the game knows, that is ocean. But for those that are thinking of... Uh, Realistically, uh, realistically building Portsmouth. Yikes. I think that used to be a park, right? That used to be a dog park. Now it is a hairless dog park. Um, that's not good. Alright, so let's clear this out. And then maybe work on one more little project for today. How's everything doing? We need tons of residential. So maybe it's time to start thinking about up here. Maybe not. Maybe I need to keep fixing this. And what again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a highway underneath this road so that all the trucks coming off are going to take a highway. They're not going to tie up this segment of road. I mean, traffic is moving in here. It's not too, too bad, but we still have a lot of space that isn't zoned yet, which is just going to increase the truck traffic coming in here. So we need to, to maybe get ahead of that. Let's do this. Let's get, let's get people... Let's get people moving in, or do we want them to move in over here so that they can... Let's get them over here. Okay, this is today's project. Let's not... Let's not do it halfway. Let's let's really get into this. So, two-lane highway should be fine. Let's see how we want to do this. So, let's pause it. Let's think about this. So, you've got, you've got this traffic coming off the highway. This four-lane road could stay as is and be part of delivering traffic into this zone. But how do we split this off into tunnel traffic for the industrial area and residential traffic? We could add another exit ramp over here. So let's, let's okay, we'll filter this down. We'll think about this a slightly different way. So we'll take everybody down to one lane. Because it's going to have a split right here before before this. Maybe I'll move this tunnel up on the other side of the bridge like I had originally intended. But there was a train there before. That's why I didn't do that. Let's do that real quick to give us room for tunnels. So we'll finish this train... I'm going to break the tunnel and everything that is above ground for train tracks.
We'll go back into trains and then we'll fix this real quick. No, I want it to be underground. Nope. So that'll work. That that achieves the same thing. And now it gives us some room over here. I did put the tunnel right underneath the road though, didn't I? <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, dang it. Okay, these are these are mistakes to watch out for. So, what I'm going to do See how I have this crisscross in the road here? I want the highway under there. So we'll run this the way that we should have in the first place, which is on the far side of the road. So that we can basically just run a highway underneath where... Underneath where the road is today. What if we did that? Well, that shouldn't let me do that. That works for now. Whatever. Come on, fix it right. Fix it. You're, you're here. You're doing it. Do it right. What the heck? Come on, mouse. All right, let's let's really come around and angle this correctly. So we'll come up to like there. I'm thinking of it more as the curve tool. That gives us a little room to work with. So let's say you're a truck, you're coming off the highway and you want to go to the industrial zone. We've got everybody down to one lane here, so let's do an exit ramp. Like so. We'll do, what, a two-lane highway? It doesn't have to be anything fancy. No, I don't want to snap to the road. I want this underneath the other road. It won't let me do that, huh? We'll have to run it kind of parallel because it want whenever it goes over the road, it wants to snap to it. And we'll have to break this a little bit. That's okay though. So highway ramp coming under there, does that work? We'll tighten that up after or bow it out more so that it is a little bit more uh, parallel or symmetrical. And then let's see about down on this side. So we could do one, we could come back a bit and do one exit ramp.
kind of comes up this way. I guess that should work. And we'll have to make this a, a right exit only. Because if not, they might turn to come back into the city. We, this is just highway access to get down here. Where is the intersection? <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Right? Did I stretch that out so much that there's not a... Anybody see a contact point over here? Okay. Never mind, I take it back. Okay, so right lane, that way only. We'll put these lanes to center, although if this isn't supporting truck traffic, I don't suppose it's going to be that heavy. The big thing is we don't want traffic turning left. These ones can just dump out straight ahead. And since we've created an intersection here, cut. No? I do it the old-fashioned way. Um... Junctions? What? Where where did my stoplight management go? Um Try traffic manager again. Come on. Is it think the intersection oh it thinks the intersection's way up there. I don't know why I'm trying to click on over here. That's what was throwing me off on the lane management. And then down here, let's do this. We'll we'll hook this in. To that same tunnel. Make a mess of this intersection again. I guess we could technically do it where the other intersection already is. So this is two lane highway. This is where the split is. Will it let us lane manage underground? If anyone knows that trick, please let me know. That could work. I'll, I'll at some point, if this works, we'll come back in here and clean this up. But this basically does what we need it to. Uh, once we, once we do one more change over here, because we've got to allow exiting. All right, so now what we can do is let's take this segment of road in the middle and let's maybe make an intersection down here with some standard road on the surface. And that looks like a great spot for one, one that kind of hugs this ridge line. Do something like that. But what that does, that creates a different segment of road here so that when we come into vehicle restrictions, uh, this one? <laughs> you see how often I do this. Vehicle restrictions. And then we can come down to this segment of road. And what do we have here? Uh, we want to disable trucks. And if we hold shift while we do that, it should do it all the way down to the next intersection. So that means that trucks can... Follow this far to maybe turn off, or they can get on the highway here. Same thing here. They can come this far to maybe turn into a commercial zone, but then trucks are banned on this segment. So let's see if this, yeah, that totally despawned all those cars. It looks like some of them are turning to go back that way. So let's come in and delete our traffic lights for now, since they're not uh, 
Not supporting anybody anyways. And this should have all this traffic now diverting under the under the road, freeing up all this traffic for over there. And we should see everybody utilizing this now, which really keeps the traffic. Yeah, it'll get heavy at the, the interchange. And then it'll pick up again over here. But this opens up this entire area now for passenger traffic without stopping trucks from getting to A to B. Just we're putting them underground and kind of hiding them in the process. So could you do that on console? Eh, you technically could because highways are going to be a faster route. If you keep that route direct, the trucks should recognize that this is the faster way for me. Um, but you've got to make sure that it's really tight to do that. If you don't have mods, um, you've got to encourage them. There's got to be a way to, to do that. You could, I guess, get really creative with your districts and run that underground highway a little bit closer. Or come to think of it, it doesn't even matter if you if you if you do districts. But it, well, it, okay, it does technically. Hear hear me out. <laughs> Here's where I'm going with this. If we go into policies, there is a heavy traffic ban does not affect highways. So if you did the exact same thing that I just did on console, running a highway underneath, painted this as a district and said heavy traffic ban, that would say hey trucks can't use the roads in this district but they sure can use the highway that's right underneath it. So you could achieve the same sort of thing. So we'll have to see how, how bad this is. If this bottlenecks too much, we'll find a way to improve this flow. Or maybe we'll do some like pedestrian bridges for regular cars and just have this carry straight from the highway onto there. Because right now that seems to be something that's slowing us down. Because this is a, uh, a one lane each way highway becoming two lanes right here. They should choose the lane that's most appropriate for them, but as you can see, they choose certain nodes, and we're gonna see a lot of traffic cutting over right there where my mouse cursor is, and not before and not after. Uh, they get a little confused, so. But things are moving, things are moving, and we did a little project today to make room for um, our next residential area, which we're gonna kind of weave through the hills here and there's there's little plateaus um, I think we can do this on PC if we pull out terrain tool there we go so you can kind of see where those plateaus are and we can draw roads with that view out I think so if we select a road uh, if we select a road and then click the terrain tool we still have the roads out so I could kind of follow that terrain loosely. Doesn't have to be too tight. But just to sort of get some roads up on this plateau. And maybe we could have kind of a, a cut through here. So this goes that way. And this becomes kind of another little road to support out here on this peninsula. Or not peninsula, but this, this flatter part of this plateau. I shouldn't say peninsula. But this is really useful. I wish we could do this on console because working with some of the terrain, you get these roads that are much smoother. And properties will build up on either side. So they'll, they'll carve into the terrain a little bit more on one side versus the other. But the road itself is relatively flat and it, it just makes sense to, to kind of build like that. So we'll we'll do that some more. We'll kind of work with these peninsulas. We'll do a bunch of residential out here and then we'll do some commercial strip on this main road and then over here on this with some neighborhoods tucked in behind in the trees. And that will, for the most part, finish this area of Kittery off. Um, I'm gonna come in later on and kind of detail work this uh, commercial strip like we did over here and drop in some unique buildings and Home Depots and chain stores and things like that. But for right now, we'll just kind of build it up and let it zone up and then uh, see where we go from there. But let's do that on the next episode. We'll we'll figure out all this residential area over here. Again, we'll zone with commercial, commercial and residential. And, and we've got a little bit of demand right now, so we should start to see that fill in. And then that way we also get some people living in over here near the industrial area, which, how is it doing? 
It's flowing. It's flowing. Do we can we look under can we look underground? Yeah, so there's a bit of a traffic snake here, right? Where where this merger is happening, unfortunately. But that's okay. It's moving. That's that's the important part. We can always upgrade it to two separate two-lane highways that dump out to two-lane roads on either side. But I think that's just going to make this congestion that much worse. Because you can see it's backing up into the tunnel as it is. But we, we can mess around and try out some different things. On the next episode, we'll work on... I think we'll work on this. And, uh, and that will have us... Let's see. That will have us pretty good up here in this part of the map. Like, this is... There's not a lot going on over here. Uh, I'm sorry about all the icons. I do have... There's a hide it link. I... Shortcut, I forget what it is. But, but that will cover most of the northeastern corner of the map. This is very sparsely populated up here. We can still work on our airport, do a little bit more work on the shipping and shipping harbor over here, work on this neighborhood, and uh, and we're getting there. We're coming along, and I, I hope everybody is enjoying the ride. So let's do some random cinematic camera and see where it takes us on our outro today. Hopefully nothing, uh, nothing major burning on fire. Um, but yeah, hopefully you're enjoying new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, I'm going to do a Outer Worlds live stream soon, if that is of interest to you. If you like the live streams and want to see some other games, keep an eye on uh, the Discord. And, uh, well, I guess turn your notifications on. Always good to see when I go live. But hopefully you enjoyed likes, comments, and shares. All help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. Thank you so much to all the patrons and channel members for helping support these efforts of these silly videos. I really appreciate the uh, the support. Subscribe if you're new, hit the bell to get notifications, follow me on Twitter, and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. One of the best ways to keep in touch kind of with what's happening on the channel, make suggestions, talk to other fans of cities and of the channel. So hopefully we'll see you over there if you aren't there already. Until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.